and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. In today's video, we are going to be unboxing some new furniture, putting it together, doing a little bit of redecorating. We'll also be doing some cleaning and we'll just see what all else we get done today. But of course, the main thing that we're going to be doing in this video is to get all of this furniture put together and get it all set up. I've had this furniture sitting by the door in the boxes for a couple of days because I've been waiting to open them up until I film this video. And it's been really hard because I've been wanting to open them up and see what this furniture looks like so I'm excited to get it all put together today and today's video is brought to you by Vazigal they are sponsoring today's video and they also sent me this new furniture so a big thank you to them we will talk a little bit more about them later on in this video and also I am wearing a sweater for the first time this fall it's windy outside and it's a little bit chilly so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna break out my fall and winter clothes that I had packed away and I'm gonna wear a sweater today because I've been really wanting to wear sweaters but it's been so hot here in Arizona. Anyway, we are just gonna get straight into this video. I hope that you guys enjoy. Before we can start putting together the furniture, I have to get this living room cleaned up. I've got a load of laundry here I need to fold that I dumped there last night. I've got some of the boys' toys over here. There's some stuff over there. So I just wanna get this all cleaned up and vacuumed and then we can start putting together the furniture over here because one of the pieces is going to be a new media stand for over here. So I got it all clean over here and vacuumed. Now I'm gonna bring the box over here that has the new media stand in it. We're gonna get that set up and then get these switched. So like I said, this furniture is the brand Vazigal by Song Mics, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about these pieces and a little bit about them here while I put together this media stand. So this first piece is called the Vazigal Retro Entertainment Center. I guess you would call these entertainment centers, not media stands like I've been calling them, but I was really impressed with this piece. It's really good quality. It has great reviews on Amazon. And the second product is a five-tier shoe storage organizer, and you're going to see that here in a little while in a couple of minutes when we set that up in the laundry room. I love all of the home furniture items from the brand Vazigal by Song Mike, so definitely go and check them out with the link down below. Okay, so I've got the first two steps done and I still have all these steps to go. So this is going to take a little while, but um, it's looking really good so far. The wood is a really pretty color. Um, this is what I've got done here, but it's pretty easy to follow these instructions. It hasn't been that hard There just is a lot of pieces of course to put together So next it looks like I need the twos because I need to put these in all of these holes So 
so I'm making progress. I'm almost to the last step, but look how neat these little doors are that I just put on. You just press and it opens up. You can store some stuff in there. Now I need to go through all of this and we have had this thing for probably, I'm gonna say like five or six years. It's definitely showing wear and tear and it's just too big and bulky. We want something smaller. So that's why we're gonna put this one over here, but I gotta clean all of this out. We're gonna be getting rid of some of this. I've gotten everything cleaned out of here that I can. I'm gonna leave everything that's hooked up with a cord for my husband to unhook. I'm uh, just not gonna bother doing that in case I mess something up. But as you can see, these shelves are really dusty, so I need to get in there and dust these before I post this unit for sale. But I filled up this garbage bag with like old movies and stuff that I wanna donate to Goodwill. And then we've got my husband's old video games over here that he like never plays, so I'll let him go through those if he wants to donate any of those. Okay, so this is all taking me just a little bit longer than I thought it was going to and I still need to finish editing and make a thumbnail for tomorrow morning's video. So I'm just gonna have to pause here and go and sit down at the desk and make a thumbnail, try to get a little bit of editing done. And so it is a few days later now it's Monday morning and I filmed setting up this media stand on Friday and then me and my husband put everything like all the wires and stuff together on Saturday and so now I haven't filmed again now until Monday morning but today we're gonna finish all this up I'm gonna show you guys how it all turned out over here and then we are going to head into the laundry room and open up the second box which is going to be a shoe stand and we're also gonna be doing some decluttering organizing and cleaning in the laundry room while I'm in there so here's what it looks like this is a lot lower media stand than what we had before and that's what I wanted because it was too tall before it was like right in line with the pictures that I had up there and I didn't want to have to move my pictures so I'm glad now that I can keep my pictures up there if you remember this fiddle leaf fig tree was over in our main living room area so I just moved that over here in the corner because I just really felt like it needed some tall greenery over here and we still have got this couch and ottoman here like I said in a previous video I want to get an l-shaped couch for here a new ottoman and a nice big rug now I'll give you a quick little tour of this media cabinet. I put this long basket underneath to kind of hide the cords that are coming down. A little tip for you there. The shelf right here was perfect for the Xboxes. We've got both of them there. Some wires hidden back here. And then these cabinets, like I showed you before, you just press and they open up. And in there we've got all the Xbox games, controllers, kind of a mess in there. And over here is one of those exact same cabinets. And we've just got all of the DVDs over here. I got rid of over half of our DVDs. I love the legs on this. It's just got that mid-century modern look to it the wood is really pretty and like I said before it's very heavy duty good quality I just think it looks really pretty in here with the wall color and everything I just love how it turned out so I will be sure and put a link for this down below and before we do any organizing or cleaning here in the laundry room I'm going to get rid of this shoe rack I hate this shoe rack the shoes slide off of it so easily they're constantly slid onto the floor I just recently put them all back onto the rack but it's just a really cheap one from Walmart and I've had it for probably almost a year now. We are gonna open up this new shoe rack from Vazigal and get this set up. It's a wooden one, it's really pretty and it should hold a lot of shoes. And then we will do some organizing in here and cleaning. So this one looks like it should be fairly easy to put together. It's just a couple of pieces, a couple of screws. We've got these two here, and then these are the shelves here. They're like a wire mesh. Seems like really good quality. I think it's gonna hold a lot more shoes, and it's gonna be a lot better than this thing that I've got over here.
ignore the messy room but i got it all put together this thing is huge um it's gonna fit a ton of shoes but the only problem is i was hoping that i could put it along this wall just so that we could still hang the coats here but it's definitely gonna have to go along this wall because it's a lot bigger than i thought it was gonna be um so i'll just have to figure out something with the coats there So here's what I was able to set up for now. I've just put the longer coats here on this side. That way they could hang to the left of the rack here. I did get rid of a few shoes, but we still do have a lot of shoes. And thankfully we have even more room on this rack now to put more shoes. And the shoes are definitely not going to fall off of this rack like they did on this one. This thing was just a piece of junk, but this thing is very good quality, very sturdy. The shoes are actually gonna stay on there. I love how it's got that rustic look to it with the black metal and the wood. It matches this rack that I have up here, even though you can't see it because we've got so much stuff hung on it. The rest of this laundry room is a disaster. So we're gonna get this cleaned up, do a little bit of deep cleaning, and then I wanna clean out some of these cabinets here. So let's get to that. washer and dryer was running when I was trying to talk here so I decided to just do a quick voiceover as you can see I was able to clear off everything off of those top two shelves got rid of a ton of stuff found new homes for other things so that was great that I could clear up some space and then next I went through my cleaning supplies shelves have one more piece of furniture to put together and it's this little side table here so we'll put that together here at the end of this video so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video sorry if it was a little bit all over the place it was just kind of felt like I was just putting furniture together this whole video stay tuned for a new video in a couple days I usually like to post two times a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays but I think here in the next couple weeks I might have to be posting three videos a couple of the week so if I post three videos in a week it will be Tuesday Thursday and Saturday so just be sure that you're subscribed with the notification bell turned on so that you never miss any of the videos that I upload and thank you so much for watching I will see you in a few days bye